Under the table, episode four. We did it, guys. Let's let's hang it up. All right. We're finished. Right, wrap it we up. Did it. This is, well, guys, ready for the last episode yep. of the show? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Even this part's just taking too long. Wrap it up, man. Come on. That's right. The trilogy. Let's get that outro going. Listen, dun, dun, we've dun, been dun, rooting, dun, we've dun, been tooting. Right? Time to get scooting. <laughs> That's right. Time to get scooting. This episode's gonna be as good as John Wick four. It's going to be great. <laughs> wow. wow. Uh, don't, don't set that bar so high for me. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, well, you got, you, got to, you got to be, you know, at least try. No. I mean, I, I do try, but I don't guarantee anything. That's fair. That's a, you know what? That's a good p- p- policy to have. I guarantee <laughs> I'm going to seduce this bank. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> the whole <laughs> bank. Brick by brick. <laughs> as long as they're rooting, tooting, shooting, and seducing. Yep. Mm-hmm. Kind of kind of rise yeah. a little bit. I'm good. Just like it. rubbing the brick with one finger like it's somebody's <laughs> lips, you know? Stop like it. in the groove. <laughs> yeah, right. oh. Osage is just like clo- closing his eyes with a hand over his eyes. I'll just peek through peeking the fingers. Through, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, kind of <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, You're honey, I love your angles. This, so, so. I love your premises. <laughs> we'll explain bank seduction when you get older. Yeah. So, so. <laughs> mm-hmm. Once, once oh, you've killed work. 30 or 40 more people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Be ready yeah. to seduce a bank. Just, just getting ready to murder deposit. Cow. Um, oh, oh, hey. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. There's a minimum deposit fee. Though. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That will not be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, take hey, take hey, that, hey, Adam. Where yeah, are you going with that? Well, <laughs> listen, I was going to talk about Heath, uh, when when we were first putting characters together, you know, he was looking at Bard, but he was like, I just don't want to play the like normal Bard that just seduces. Now I'm just everybody. leaning in, yeah. <laughs> but like w- within the first actual episode of him being a Bard, you know, with the seduction happened, and I wasn't even trying to lean into the trope, but it just happened. It just happened. I mean, that you set that, that up. I just us. knocked it down. I, look, <laughs> you're right. You're I right. just it's went just with a, the most logical <laughs> course of action. Mm-hmm. Just like, am I doing this? Yep, yep, I'm doing yes, this. I am. Like, I'm I'm go. Go. I have a force, limited you know? skill set, and the, the smart thing to do here mm-hmm. seduce the bank. Commit mm-hmm. to the bit, baby. <laughs> Commit to the bit. Um, well, yeah, you know, we are, we're getting into the, to the actual adventure here now. We, I guess at the, the end of episode three, we kind of cleared the way for you guys to go in the bank. But before we go into this, you know, we talked about Westerns last time, but let's talk about some of your favorite heist movies. Hmm. Snatch. Snatch is Snatch pretty is a great. great. One, yeah. It's pretty great. Snatch is one I of mean, my top three favorite movies of all time. Top three. Top three. So <laughs> <laughs> top three. Uh, I'm going to go with the lazy answer. Go with a Ocean's Eleven. Just yeah, because that's, I can't that's really the very think obvious one yeah. of of any off the top of my head right now. But yeah, those movies are uh, good. Yeah. though. They they are good. I don't. I don't really have the first a one is good. I, I I think I thought the Ocean's Twelve and Thirteen were okay, but didn't. Didn't really hit me the same way Eleven did. Mm-hmm. I like a movie called Sneakers. Do you all remember that movie? It mm-hmm. has been requested about, for me to watch shoes. a lot. Mm, I do not recall. Uh, it's it's not about shoes. <laughs> um, it's this. It's about uh, like a firm who gets hired to test security features, like on banks and stuff. Like they get hired to try to like mm-hmm. rob try to break in banks, you know, like break in, um, and obviously you know, it blossoms into a more 
deep story than that. The the people that hire them to do it kind of it gets a little twisted. But it's got like Robert Redford and Dan Aykroyd in it, and um, Ben Kingsley is in it, and it's just a really cool movie. Uh, like the way that they figure out some things is pretty interesting, and I don't know. It was it was a favorite of mine as a kid when it comes to to heist mm-hmm. movies. Um, I mean, then there's just, uh, what is the one with Catherine Zeta Jones where she, oh, yeah, her way through entrapment. Moses. Entrapment. Oh, I haven't oh, seen it, it but is, I've yeah. seen that scene. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Watch it for the plot, baby. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know the name of the movie, but I know that scene. Mm. Um, my favorite, and I, I like, I'm such an advocate of this movie. But my favorite heist movie in the world is Logan Lucky. Oh my god, I was just going to oh, say that. Oh, that's so that. good. Which is that's which so good. I love the like it's commonly referred to as Ocean 7-Eleven. Yes. It's like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, it, it is like that one. Like southern that I'm of. trashy heist the movie at a NASCAR heist. race. NASCAR. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. With, really with Daniel Craig and uh yeah, well, Daniel Craig with a crazy like southern accent. Not the one that he does in No Onion. Glass Onion. Mm-hmm. No, Knives but it out. set him up to get that role. Yeah, yeah you know. Totally. Adam Driver is yeah. hysterical. He's like, hilarious mm-hmm. in that. Oh god. Yeah, that's a really good movie. <laughs> you no, know, I mean I haven't just thinking of scenes. That's so funny. <laughs> If you haven't, haven't seen really, Logan uh, Lucky, Dustin, yeah, I, stop. We'll record later. Go watch Logan Lucky. All right, later, guys. Later. <laughs> I got to watch it. No, I, I, also, I mean, I haven't really been uh, big into those kind of movies, I guess. The one that comes to mind right off the bat, because I've seen it very recently and watched it with Hannah again, was, I guess it's technically a heist movie, but Dungeons & Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. So yeah, good. It's, it's, got some, it's got some heist action yeah, in it, for still sure. Still haven't seen it yet. You know another good. good one? Baby, What's that? Baby Driver. Oh, yeah, Baby Ooh. Driver. Ooh. That's okay. great. Yeah, just that's for the that was a heist movie. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to like amend mine or change mine. It's now Baby Driver. Well, you can just add to your. Yeah, it's a, you don't, you don't have, have to. You can. You, you can like more than one thing. No, fact. no, no. That's my favorite. So you <laughs> have to choose a different one, Emily. I'm sorry. Okay, I will. <laughs> Ronan. Oh, 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 Ronan is great. Okay. Okay. Ronan is great to too. Ronan now you're making this distance. John's like, okay, I'm going to change it to Ronan now. <laughs> no, 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 no. You can have Baby Driver. <laughs> I actually watched Ronan like to prepare for for this show. Like, oh, get, get really? this character ready. I watched Ronan. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, uh, there's lots of good heist movies. Dustin, you need to get on it. Get on that heist train. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's <laughs> weird. I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing like a heist. western. <laughs> Western uh, AP with like heist stuff and outlaws and all that stuff, but that's like the genre that I least am into in media, like I westerns say, and heists and gangster movies. I just don't I don't get into. It. He- heists are like up there for me. Like I like action and comedy; those are like my big go to. So that's it's that's usually heists are but are a combination of those. Yeah. Like right, most heist movies are kind of comedic in nature and definitely have some action while they explain the plan yeah to see it happen so what we're gonna and do bongos. is give me yeah. the money yeah, bongos. <laughs> 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 it's important all right well let's 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 go ahead and get into it um i'm gonna put you back on the bank map all right uh let's try to get some good music setting here let's try so what were we doing? Well, you are trying to get into the bank, steal all the money from the vault, go out the back and escape to put a dent into Muglin's business plans. Mm-hmm. We can do it. We I surreptitiously it. snuffed out two centuries. Wow. Was it two? I thought it was just nice. one. It was two. Oh, it, it was two. two. Okay, it good, good, good. Because if it was just one, I'd be worried because... Um, I almost died. Yeah, Jules, you, uh, you, did you, you took died. a couple close call hits. I've got a good uh, little brother. So, yeah, let's let's uh, kind of assess where you guys are at as far as that goes. So, Jules, what is your hit point total right now? Buddy, let me tell you, just real quick. Right. I'm going to tell you. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. My current is 12 out of 17. 
Heventeen. Seventeen. So Seventeen. Oh, the H is silent. Okay, it's yeah. supposed to be well, silent. It's like when least. you say twelve, it's like, ooh, it's so bad, and it's like, but it's out of seventeen. So really, yeah. you're like not that far down. Yeah. We're level one. Yeah. Right. Uh, Asaze, what about you, buddy? I am twelve of twenty-one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Judge. I didn't lose any HP. I'm sixteen of sixteen. And Amir. I am at the full health. Full health. Well, I, I would like the to give you guys this opportunity before you go into the bank to do any healing. You can do try, try to do a treat wounds, or you could use uh, some of Amir's elixirs. But uh, I would recommend trying to get to full health. Basically, in after every encounter, mm-hmm. I believe that Tui is expecting you to heal up. Um, Fix your shit, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, get it together, you know. And uh, Heath has spent all of his spell yep. slots already all, in the first encounter of this map. But yeah, all right. two. Exactly. <laughs> you say it like that, and it's like, man, you really burned through some resources. Like, I cast a couple spells, and I'm tapped. Mm-hmm. But you can certainly refocus to get your focus point one of your focus points back. So we're just going to stand outside uh, the bank for like 10 minutes looking. Well, you guys are but we have to alley. heal up first. You're in this alley. Yeah, we're out of anyway. the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And it's right before the bank opened, right? Bank the bank is open. Okay. And we the did it surreptitiously, open. so they, nobody noticed. You know, <laughs> nobody was looking at this how fucking bank. surreptitious <laughs> I'm being right now. <laughs> Nobody's in this area anyway. Well, just no, no, the main drag of the bank? No, no <laughs> one goes to the bank. What, what, today's Sunday, right? Right? So, yep. I mean, you know, nobody comes around to the bank on Sunday. It's all right. So, how do, I, how do I treat wounds or, or heal? Or? Um, treat wounds is like, uh, no matter who does it, it's like an hour cooldown, right? Correct. correct. You can only have. Yeah, cr- that is correct. Yeah. Uh, Amir's gonna say, um, "Well, well, that was a harrowing first bout. Um, I probably recommend just use use the elixirs that I gave you. If you um, oh, take a elixirs. more serious wound, I, I should be able to patch you up with plain old fashioned wound treating and surgery. Band aids, thread, and a needle. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't, I don't, I don't uh, do that kind of healing." Uh, all right. Well, so where are you at on elixirs? I know you handed some out, right? I should have given everyone one, right? Or no, it should have been more than one. I think at the two. first episode it was either two or three because I used the majority of them. Uh, you only to gave hand me out. one. I only had one. Amir, are you holding out on us already? Uh, no. I, I, I think uh, I gave you a little bit more than one. I'm. Pretty sure I at least gave each one two. Now you say that you made three. Are you sure you didn't just oh, give let's, let's each party one? Let's roll back the tapes you and, and <laughs> listen. <laughs> to see, uh, see how many I gave. You used some in the combat, though. Yeah, oh, some yeah. did get used uh, in the combat. Well, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah, there was also well, the numbing agent, but yeah. Mine might as well have not been rolled because I rolled a one. Well, that's not great. <laughs> that's not great that at not all. Good. Uh, okay. Well, are you going to take another one or? I'm going to go ahead and drink my other healing potion now. Unless there's other options. Well, I mean, there is treat wounds, <clears throat> but then that will be it for an hour. Mm-hmm. And that's the big I'm thing. I'm wondering Basically, that's if what I, I should do, the, do that instead, because healing potion I can do in combat. Or or immediately after combat in a short amount of time. Yeah. Yeah, this you is know what? Like I'm going to probably- hold... Yeah. Yeah, this is probably a better time to do treat wounds, yes. given that you're not yeah. going to have ten minutes. I'm gonna. Right. Well, I have battle medicine, right. so. Well, yeah, you can do that in combat for sure. Well, I'm gonna treat wounds on myself. Can I do that? Do you have me- Do you have medicine? Listen, all right. I'm just saying, like, you might want to let somebody who's trained yes, in medicine yes. do it because you'll have a higher likelihood of. Yeah. Okay. Amir sees you like fumbling with some like. Some uh, cloths and <laughs> band aids and you know neosporin or whatever. And he goes, uh, put 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 that away. Let let me handle this. Let me handle this. Okay. Um. <laughs> She's just like squeezing the 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 cuts closed. Like, does this work? <laughs> I, you know? If I just like, spit oh, on it, it'll be bless fine. <laughs> Just put some testing on. Just put yeah. some yeah. testing on it. Just, just kiss the wound. You know that's what Mama used to do. <laughs> so. This is what Charlotte always did, and it worked just fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Dustin, if you Got remember, you can you can click on your token, 
And then under utility, I believe, there's a treat wounds option. If you just target and jewels. Target jewels? Yeah, and then in the, the little drop down menus that are actually on the game screen under utility, you'll see treat wounds. Uh, treat wound skill? Crafting. Oof. Oh my gosh. Well, that is a failure. Oh god, no. I think you gave uh, me sepsis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little uh, out the, of practice. I haven't done this in a while. Is anyone else trained in medicine? Uh, yes, I am. I- um, and also, I'm reading here that it's actually what passing or failing that they're temporarily immune to treat wounds for an hour. So, oh, so you're just even no. if I fail. Oh, man. Okay. So yeah. So so there's no good uh, there. So I'm I'm immune to it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm sorry, I cannot help you out here. Yeah, that's all right. It's like, I, it's like don't bother with medicine unless you know you can pass it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, especially at level one. It, like, once you guys get to like level two or three, you can take assurance at some point. Mm-hmm. Whoever's going to be your main healer, and then then it becomes just yeah. kind of a housekeeping. But in the in the early levels, it's tough. Yeah. Uh, she just so I'll, <laughs> claps a mirror on the, or excuse me, uh, says Osaze on the shoulder, like, "Listen, buddy, I'm just going to stand behind you. You did really well back there. I want you to have your time to shine. If we come mm-hmm. up against any other boogans." Um, I'm, I'm, I, you just take the take the lead on the the slashing and whatnot. And she's just well, like coughing up a little bit of blood. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, oh, you have a little bit of blood on your on your chin. Oh, there. thanks, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah maybe don't fight like a barbarian to... gunslinger, sister. Listen, <laughs> all right, okay. I'll, I'll, I'm you. listening. <laughs> 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 uh, before uh, we go uh, any further, um, mm-hmm. in order for me to survive my own. I need to uh, get a little bit of health. Uh, Amir, could you perhaps assist? And, uh, yeah, can you just give me a medicine roll? Help me. Help me. I need, help I need me. a little bit more help. Yes, 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 yes. Um, uh, where, where does it hurt? Um, where are you uh, along the legs. Pain? The legs? Okay, let, let me check it out. You'll feel a little bit of pressure here. And roll it. Targeting. Utilities. Treat wounds. Crafting. And you're using crafting because of your alchemist spec, right? Like, yes. I don't think we've talked about that. Success. All right, that's the success. Uh, how much uh, For healing? Ten did you- HP. Damn. Beautiful. <laughs> Jules is like, I like, really could have used that. Yeah. Shit, but all right, I'm glad that you got it. That's all right, Oz. Okay, this is fine. I just had to, uh, you know, like um, grease the old old wheels. Um. Uh, don't forget that you do have two points of temporary healing that still, uh, or temporary HP from that numbing. Right? How long did that last? Oh, uh, it just says again at the start of your turn for one minute. So I right. don't know so if it goes would... away after one minute. Yeah, but you would have that too. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm a like it's not going to recharge again, but, but you would have that too because it re-upped. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, dog. Yeah, yeah. All right. So you guys are about as healed as you're going to be, I guess. Um, what's the? You guys going to go into the bank now? I just want to remind you guys that you guys are literally going to rob this bank. Mm-hmm. You're not. I, I, most of you guys are used to playing heroic characters. <laughs> I'm reminding you that the job here is to rob the bank. Mm-hmm. Um, so just keep that in mind as uh, as you move forward. We've mm-hmm. got our hat of disguises on yeah, still. Mm-hmm. Totally. Okay. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Emir well, looks like a, a grizzled old one of man, you- basically with a huge beard. Yeah, three of you have it, but one of you is wearing a bandana of disguise. Yes. <laughs> so uh how how are we going to do this? Let's uh who, who's going to who's we going to talk front door. What's what's yes. the rules? We can't just we can't just walk in money please and just <laughs> we're here to rob the bank. Give us the money. You know, we have to have a plan, right? Uh did didn't we formulate the plan before we came out here? Yes. I mean that was that was weeks ago. We recorded that so long. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I have a concussion. What are we talking about? <laughs> We're just a fledgling crew. I mean we, we will work out the kinks. We will work out the kinks. Or die, you know. Or or die. Yeah, if we fail, we will yeah. die. <laughs> but okay, so we do have hold on. We're going in the front. I'm sorry, Emily's having a struggle here. 
We are going in the front, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then we just just do it, right? Well, we I have to that's... find the bank manager, get the key, yeah. stuff the bag of holding filled with gold, yeah. run out to the scrapyard into the sewer. Easy yes. peasy, lemon squeezy. Osaze, you are the intimidation. <clears throat> you have no eyebrows and you don't blink. It's I am I am used to it. I am used to it now. Um, but it, it is a, li- a little unnerving to those uninitiated. Um, just stand there and look intimidating. I appreciate your honesty. Well, if I know Judge, he's, uh, he's a bit of a silver tongue kind of situation. So, I figure if we need anybody to do any fancy pretty talking, it'll be, he'll be our man. Right, George? Uh, yeah, Poe, so. <laughs> uh, yeah. He says, uh, he's yeah. like plucking his violin in the corner, you know. <laughs> Well, perhaps we should use that uh, silver tongue to lure the bank manager out first. So that way we have control of the situation. Yes. yes? I think we should go in. Well, you know, we would like to With make a deposit. Pretenses. I need to speak yes. to the manager. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Hello, manager. Um, we are not here to make a deposit. We are here to... <laughs> Mr. Manager. Rob you. Give me the make, key. Make the withdrawal. The That's right. <laughs> I don't think we should go in guns blazing. <laughs> We're here to rob the bank! No, Jules, let's, uh... like, sadly puts her <laughs> right. gun back in her holster. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. I'm sure you'll have use noted? of that later. I don't, I don't think we're particularly cut out for this. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I you. am very motivated, okay? <laughs> That's all I need, right? So, we'll go in like normal people. And ask, and George will ask for the bank manager, and then we'll spring. Yes, yeah? sounds okay. good to me. Foolproof plan. And if you die, I will remember you forever. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're still just gonna get shot a bunch of times. <laughs> 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 I just imagine, like after it's all said and done, it's just like the this interview with the fucking cop who actually stopped us like yeah some fools just came in and shot them <laughs> they're dead <laughs> I just don't feel like I don't feel like this is a plan so much as a commitment you know <laughs> <laughs> so we go in we talk to the manager and boom the bank is robbed and it's like yep that's, yeah. that's the plan <laughs> that's how it works didn't well, you we'll hear the bongos this... come on it's foolproof let's... And yeah, then we'll Marky Mark will drive up in one of those uh, little <laughs> Italian cars, like he had in the Italian job. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds. I need to see that me. movie. Marky Mark is such a great actor. He's pride of Boston. <laughs> <laughs> Jam Marie Boston. <laughs> <laughs> it's a borough in Boston. Yep. Okay, right. let's do this dumb, dumb plan. <laughs> well, let's well, do you put have our sneaky shoes on. No, I don't, because I'm oh, not okay. a bank robber. But like, I just feel like our lack of a plan is is you know, mm-hmm. the, the plot needs us to rob this bank. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and how just, is everyone disguised? And just see That's how it like goes. I just uh, yeah. Did we say our disguises last time? I don't think so. We just no. put on the hat. Okay. Um, let's see here. I look like a 12-year-old girl. (laughs) (laughs) Mm. Completely unassuming. Perfect. Oh, God. (laughs) Oh, man. Um, I look like... I don't know. Um, Actually, weirdly enough, I look like... um, What's her name? The bitch that set me up. Angelique. Mm. I look as close You're, to her as I can. That's a terrible that's gonna, idea. That's going to get you noticed. <laughs> that is a terrible <laughs> idea. Oh, that's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, my cousin. As soon as you walk in, they'll be like, oh, look who's not surreptitious. <laughs> not surreptitious. <laughs> <laughs> no, I look like just an unassuming, like, dock hand. There you go. Okay. I said earlier I was an old guy I with a like beard. one of the biggest villains of this entire adventure. Yeah. We all come in. It's four muglins. It's four <laughs> muglins. <laughs> nothing four muglins nothing to, the to see here. <laughs> <laughs> the 
<laughs> I'll be having my money, please. <laughs> please deposit in this money bag. I have. Uh, the I keep on Thank me you. at all times for my <laughs> shady dealings. <laughs> Here is my card. No questions, please. I'm a very busy muggling. All four of us are. How do you think I get so much done across this fair city? Oh, my God. I'm actually Quinn Tuplets. <laughs> You've never heard of the muggling brothers? Oh, my God. <laughs> It's just oops all muggles. Top to bottom, baby. I, I like that plan better, to be honest. I let's, do. Let's do that. Do. You know what? That, that sounds great, actually. Oh, oh no. Can we just meme this encounter, Adam? <laughs> we, should, we should all walk in <laughs> like, like, like at dress as Muglin, but act like Pokemon. We just come in. Muglin. 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 Muggy Muglin. Muglin. <laughs> Ambrose. Ambrose. <laughs> my friend. My friend. Oh my god. Uh, I don't feel any better about the strategy, but I feel better as a person <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to ask you guys to move forward. Okay. At this we point. don't want to, and that's the problem. I can tell. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Uh, my right. appearance is like a just like a slightly portly, unassuming merchant guy. Yeah, I can't. I can't actually look like a twelve-year-old girl because that would be a different no, size. No, nobody would take you seriously. Well, that's not the problem. It's that <laughs> it's that I'm you know not short enough to be a twelve-year-old girl. Not um, with that attitude. Mine is a uh, portly, uh, highly receding hairline, long ponytail. Um, Think like the comic book guy. The comic oh, book exactly guy. Who I was thinking from the Simpsons. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Best disguise <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, because he's got his little like mall ninja knives, so you know he's oh, he's God. studied the blade. You know. So, yeah. Yeah. I want to look like some... an older, handsome elven gentleman. Okay. Perfect. All right, well, you guys can step into the bank, and I'll tell you what you see. Yes. It's like, and oh, it probably Osaze and uh, somebody else should be in front. Yeah, me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Definitely Jamoray George. 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 Josh. Oh, we're getting in. We're doing it. It's a yeah. weird setup. There's, like, a roof, and I don't know what to yeah, do with you, it. Yeah, once you step in, oh, okay. that roof will go away. Oh, I did. Okay. We are progressing south into the bank on the map. Oh. Look at that. We're, we're just busting in here yeah. like an entourage. Just like slam those Everybody's doors open. Everybody's got guns out. Even if you don't have guns, it's just finger guns. Real quick. <laughs> can, I, can I just give a shout out to Foundry? Because as soon as we stepped into the, the room, like the ambient noise in the background like was muted. That's so fucking yeah, wow. Like the, the city noise. Holy like, shit. Yeah. You're so yeah. right. Damn. Uh, okay, so when you step in, um, worn stone floors and threadbare furniture define the aesthetic of this establishment. A central wooden table crosses parallel to the doors, creating a barrier between those waiting for a teller and the long wooden half wall bisecting the room into the north and south. Iron bars stand on top of this half wall and reach nearly to the ceiling, ending in sharp points. Sounds of business being carried out echo throughout this large chamber, which carries the dusty odor of decaying furniture. The southern half of the room consists of teller stations and two wooden doors flanking a large metal vault door on six inch thick hinges. A single door in the half wall allows passage between the two halves of, the, of this chamber, and a double door opens to the north outside, while doors in the northwest and northeast corners lead to east and west wings. You see uh, several people here conducting business. I would say about a dozen people in the northern half of this room, either standing at a teller window waiting to speak with a teller or waiting for a loan officer in one of the east and west wings. You remember that Dunsmith told you that these customers all belong to Alkenstar's lowest class of white collar criminal. And that is, that is what you see 
when you step in. Huh. Cool, 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 cool. Where is this the ca- like counters in fr- like ahead of us? Yeah, like where the tellers are. Yeah. Okay. I guess George motions for Osaze to, you know, walk next to him, look intimidating mm-hmm. with his receding hairline pony. And Amir's gonna <laughs> kind of <laughs> stand by the door, and once <laughs> things get kind of initiated, you know, Amir's gonna lock the door. Ooh, smart. Uh, would you like to do that, sir? Typical, sir. Yes, yeah, so no. I want to stealthily it? try to latch that door locked. There you go. All right, give me a stealth check then, please. <laughs> Roll to Titius. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, Amir. Come on. Come on, you can do it, Amir. Sneaky. Not uh, hero Hero point. Hero point, right? Why hero point? You got to tell us what you rolled, Oh, Dustin. yes. Uh, sorry for the viewers. I, um... Oh, listeners, I a, if they were viewing, they could see it. Yes. But they're not viewing, so they're Unless you have listening. synesthesia. If you have synesthesia, yeah. viewers, listeners, You're smellers. On point. Um, I rolled a one. On my stealth check. Well, that's uh, not good. Yeah, for a total of six. The door shut. <laughs> yeah. How do you fuck this door? <laughs> Breaks it. I just imagine it's one of those like revolving doors, but you just roll like push it the opposite way. <laughs> it's just it's just going and in break a circle. Just break it. <laughs> I mean, should I use a hero point? Meta gaming the group as a question. Should I use a hero I point? I swear this to... is a push door, not a pull. <laughs> uh, with the Breaks natural the one, they're going to notice that. With a natural one on, on a, trying to lock yeah, it. Yeah, I think it would be good to not yeah, like tip just off everybody. alert everybody okay. out the yeah. gate. Okay. And I mean, you're probably not going to be doing the the talking, so like that's not what you would be using your hero point yeah. for, anyways. All right. Quiet observation and re- recall knowledge. But yes, I will use my hero point and roll again. Is that the first hero right. point used? Okay. Uh, In this no. Game? Okay. In All this right. episode. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, doing it again. Reroll. Better. A 16. Okay, with a 16, you do pass. Uh, and so you're able to very quietly, like, as kind of using the cover of your companions to just lock the door. Nice. And he just turns back and, like, playing like he's a merchant waiting for his uh, turn in, in the queue. All right. Okay. All right. Um, jo- uh, George, <laughs> mo- motioning us, I to come up to the counter next to him, approaches yeah. uh, one of the tellers. What do they look like? Uh, and what are tellers. their names? What are their names? <laughs> Each one. Uh, oh, bank tellers are a monolith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's disrespectful uh, to all bank tellers listening. You've okay? got Mark and Mary here. Shout out to our friends. <laughs> Uh, but that's their names. There's two tellers at this window. Uh, well, no. You asked what the tellers look like. There's two tellers at the desk. You, one of them is empty, and there's a little nameplate on it that says Byron. Byron. Yeah, okay. that's the one that you talk to. Shout out the, to my uncle. Um, but you notice right, that cool. he's not here, as you were expecting him not to be. Right. Uh, you oh, are okay. standing in front of Mark. Okay. Yeah, and George is like, um, good. it's morning, right? Mm-hmm. Not it's like 7 morning. in the morning, yep. Right. Uh, yeah, and, and so George approaches, uh, intentionally trying to look a little, like, irritated, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, and it's like, uh, good morning. Uh, could I please uh, speak with you, manager? I've, I've got a complication with my account that I need to sort out. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the manager is quite busy. It's by appointment only. Uh, is there anything I can do to help you? Or, uh, yeah, you can get him out here right now. I'm one of this bank's big. And your name is? Oh fuck! I didn't. We didn't. That's we didn't plan this out. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Bernard Leftwinkle. <laughs> Just throw in Ambrose at the end. Or, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Ambrose. Mark yeah. Land. Land. Uh, what did you say, Bernard? What? Left winkle. Left winkle. Well, sir, we we do have a right winkle here on file, but uh, left winkle. No, I'm just kidding. That's um, my brother. Got, yeah, well, that's uh, the problem. See, you got me right. in there wrong. The names on um, all these documents are incorrect. Uh, I will go and talk to the manager and see, but uh, she is very adamant about appointment only, and I would think that you might know that if you've been a regular here, and I've never seen you here before, but I, I, 
listen, I'll go, I'll go ask. And so Mark steps away from the counter and goes uh, to this office door here. So you can see, you can see at least where the manager's office okay. is. And Mark pokes his head in. We should, we should, we should follow him. This is the uh, moment. Well, you, you, so there's like a gated door right here. Oh, okay. And it's closed. Uh, Are there right. like any chairs or anything near there's, that area? The gated door n- area? No. <laughs> uh, question before it gets too crazy, potentially crazy. Um, do we see anything in here as far as like protective services or anything like that? I understand that there's no. Okay. <clears throat> Mark. Well, no. Uh, so, uh, Mark pokes his head in the office door and you hear oh, <laughs> like kind of muffled shout and uh, Mark backs out of the door, closes the door, walks back over to you a little red in the face and says, uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, she's never heard of you. And what's your business here again, Mr. L- Left Winkle? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so George just trying to stick to the bit and kind of like nervously glancing over to Osaze like, this isn't going well, uh, right, is what right. you, the expression you would read when he, he glances at you is just like, uh, I needed to sort out some discrepancies with my account. This is very disconcerting. Uh, but at this point, I know, like out of character, I'm like, I don't know, the, the jig is up. We need to just rob this bank. <laughs> like... I, the uh, the door's locked with he- the little antechamber. I know. Yeah, eventually somebody's fixing to try and leave, you know, and they're going to find out the door's locked. Um, right. Okay. I All mean... Right. Well, can I do a uh, perception check to see if, like, maybe they, yeah, like, on the counter, perception. see if they, they left any kind of keys in, in reach or... Um, because I know that there, that door, um, you said it was, like, caged with bars, with, like... Spikes at the was, end, yeah. um, so we can't get in without going through that locked door over to the the left hand side of the map, right? To right. enter into mm-hmm. the actual offices in the vault area. So, is there? Can Correct. I do like a perception check to see if there's any anything on the, uh, the counter itself within reach that I can maybe keys or anything like that? There, it's a bank, so they don't just leave keys on the counter. You know, <laughs> uh, I, I won't make you roll a perception check because well. Instead of perception, could I do a thievery? Like, would I know about, like, any alarms or any kind of, like, built-in security measures or anything like that that we should negate I mean, negate you would know quickly? what you found out. Okay. Before. Okay. You know, but, like, you're in a bank. Yeah. Your George has just kind of revealed himself to be kind of asking something that doesn't seem right. And time is running short. You got a couple people that are looking at you. <laughs> if you think that you can just like sneak through this side door without being discovered, that's a, not, there's a dozen people in here. Yeah. You know? Um, and now you have the teller who's a little suspicious of George. So, like, that's the situation that you're in now. So, here's the thing um, out of character, real quick, is, is that. Uh, we are uh, already separated by some, like a the tellers on one side of this uh, of this thing, and we are separated mm-hmm. on the other side. How are we going to get through there the- without get, uh, accessing that door? So my my thoughts here are that we still need to either provide a distraction, even if there is a, do- a dozen, provide a distraction against whoever's near that door, so that way thievery can be rolled to at least try to. Unlock Open that the door. door. We need yeah. access, regardless. Yeah, a distraction to yeah move their attention away from it, that area. I have a plus seven to thievery. Is anybody higher? I don't think so. Uh, my thievery is probably garbage. I think seven's probably the best you're going to get at level one. Yeah, I'm untrained with thievery at a plus four. Jules would start making her way, like kind of surreptitiously, towards the the door, <laughs> just like oh, the heck, come on, right. I think um, seeing that a mirror in his uh, guise of a portly uh, merchant would just be like, 
What's taking so long? <laughs> I come here at 7 a.m. to get quick service, and I'm sitting here waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Drash! Drash, where are you? Drash! Drash! And, he, and he's, okay. screaming. he's screaming. He's screaming. He's like, he's going full-blown Karen, you know? I can't believe this! And, like, looking at everybody and, like, pointing at them and just be like, hey, hey, who are you? Who are you? I've never seen you before! Drash! Yeah, so Drash! Mark, you know? So Mark is like, uh, listen, Mr. Mr. Uh, Leftwinkle, if you can either conduct your business here with me or I'm going to ask you to, to move aside. That We have many customers waiting. I, I, I think you might be in the wrong bank. <laughs> I love I love the absolute grace on the part of the tellers. Like you're just, you're just confused. <laughs> um. And I'm basically calling out to the manager. Is uh, her name's Dresh? I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you're getting no response other no. than just like a couple other people looking at you, or some are like, "Yeah, this is taking too long. Get out of line, dude!" <laughs> <laughs> And I'm just like, everybody, look, look at me. I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then like looking, looking towards Jules, and just be like, go, come on. And I'm like, ah. I don't think this is as distracting. Right. Well, I was as gonna say, I think, I think I think <laughs> that provides George the bait. You know, like a his task is kind of a failure. So it's like, let's just put ham it up. So he he turns around to uh <laughs> to Dustin's in disguise character, and it's just like. You can wait your turn. I'm here doing my lawful and normal business at the bank I always attend. I don't I shouldn't have to take any guff from you just cuz you're impatient and just just spiraling into them yelling at each <laughs> other across the the railway. Do you know who I am? Who are you? <laughs> but not left winkle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do I just do a stealth check here? Is, uh, or, uh, so this is sorry. This, um, is this is gonna be a thievery check, uh, but you'll need to do a stealth check first. Okay. To to and you will be able to do this with a plus one um, because of the distraction that's being before caused. She, before she rolls. Is there any way that I can perhaps uh, aid in the stealth by pro probably? Covering no, the, her, no the, ste the stealth is being. I'm giving the plus one for the general distraction that's okay, happening. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. okay. Mm. Ooh, three on the die for an eleven mm. for my stealth hero point. I have no hero points. <laughs> no. So, so two of the customers are like twelve. Let's see you going over there and about to start to fiddle with the lock. It says, "Hey, they're trying to break in." Wait, and I have a dumb question. I'm sorry. Do I get a new hero point at the beginning of this session? No. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, and so, uh, am I missing one here? Yes, I am. All right. So four of these customers, uh, they're like, oh, no, you aren't robbing Muglin's bank. You messed with the hell. wrong bank. Muglin's gonna pay us good for your heads, and uh, the the two tellers just like Mark like like looks at you, looks over there, and like just drops below the counter, freaked out, and then like scoots over and pulls Mary down. It's like, <laughs> let's get down, and I uh, I'm gonna need you guys to roll initiative. All right, let's All right. Do it. This is as sloppy as I thought it would be. Yeah. So yeah. can I roll mine with stealth then? <laughs> Yeah, okay. but it's going to be that 11. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah, that's a lame. Yeah, that, that, I, I know, it. but that's how, that's how it goes. Well, okay, but also I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, initiative, um, here it comes. I, I got you, Jules. Okay. So I didn't actually get to do any diplomacy, so just roll a normal one. Yeah, it's going to be perception based. Alright, what did you guys get for initiative? John, what'd you get? I got an 18. All right, so Asaze with an 18. Emily, what did uh, Jules get? Yeah, I got an 11. Oh, that's not great. Oh, you're right. I told yeah. you I already said that. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. you just had to rub it in. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. All right, Dustin, what about Amir? Amir got an 8. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, that's terrible. These investors right. are on the ball. What about, what about Judge? 19. All right. Well, that's not bad. Uh, the, you are right, though. The investors are on the ball. Um, 
So we're gonna start with the first one, which is, there's four of them. And the, the one that is kind of in the middle of the room, the one that spotted Jules is going to use his first action to move up to Jules. Second action is going to strike with a club. Just, what, just got what an a, actual dickhole. Yeah, just got just they, they just got sticks, man. All right, so here we go. Coming up to Jules with a strike. Oh yeah, I got target. All right, all right, that is a fourteen. Get out of here. Okay, I'm gonna try to swing again. I hope Probably you gonna miss with this map five. Uh, it's for those listening who don't know, in two E, for every subsequent attack. You get a minus five. There are other skills that can change the value of that, but generally speaking, you have your first attack at your normal bonus, second attack is at minus five, and third attack is at minus 10. So second attack coming here, otherwise known as map five. All right, that's a 12 and that's gonna miss. So that's all three actions. So the banker walks up and just pulls out the club. Actually, I could, I would have only been able to attack once um, because I had to use an action to draw the club. They did not have it drawn. Uh, so there was only one attack there. So pulls out the club, tries to swing it at Jewel's head and she ducks like holding on to her hat <laughs> so it doesn't get knocked off. And now the next investor is gonna come up and this one is, let's see. I don't know which one that is highlighting. There we go. I got it. All right. So the next one is the guy that was kind of hiding in the corner by one of these loan officers doors and is going to draw the club as first action. Second action is going to move over to Amir. Third action, try to... Would this person know that I'm an enemy? I guess not. Yeah. Uh, walks over to you and says, hey, we got to get these guys. <laughs> I, I don't know. They look, they look pretty intimidating to me. <laughs> we should kind of hunker down. No. Do you know how much money we'll get if we if we get these guys from muggling? He gonna pay us good. He gonna pay so, us good. <laughs> so uh, it's actually gonna use two actions to get over to George, but that will be the the investor's whole turn. All right. The next one up is the guy here to the right. Uh, on the east side of the room and is going to draw a club and is going to use two actions to move to get around the counter to try to flank on the other side of Asaze and George and now it's George's turn yep and I don't have any spell slots so that's good. Uh, I guess I'm going to try to to start with intimidate this guy to my right. Uh, okay. The one that's right next to you? Yeah. All right. So make sure you target him first. And, you know, just <laughs> at least trying to keep up the even attempt at the ruse. It's just like, uh, can, can I help you? I'm trying to do business here. Uh, <laughs> you, why, don't, why don't you step the fuck off? Uh, All right. That's... that's you're gonna get. <laughs> uh, so you're actually going to do a demoralize here, right? Yeah. All right, so you'll actually need to roll that action. Uh, I will put that in your actions tab, so it'll be easy for you. There you go. Okay. All right, then you roll the intimidation from there. Uh, natural one. Natural no, that, one. That's oh, great. No. Uh, it's a critical failure. However, there is no critical failure condition for demoralize. It just Thank doesn't. God doesn't work. Didn't work. Uh, however, they are immune to any attempts to demoralize for 10 minutes, uh, yeah. regardless of result. But it was, And he's like, Nah, I think my business is with you and your head. It's gonna be worth like... Does he count on his fingers? Well, he count on his fingers. <laughs> I'd like to run away while he counts on his fingers. Seven, 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 seven silver, gold, I don't know. We'll see. That at least takes uh, him one round to do that, right? Count on his well, fingers. That's, a, that's, his re that's his reaction. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, so then I can get away uh, without fear of... So you do have two actions left, George. Yeah. 
the problem is that I can, by running away closer to my sister, I just put myself in more danger. <laughs> yeah. And I don't have any ability to heal her, but, you know, I might, I, I guess at least we'll be together. I can soak maybe a hit for her. So he, he, uh, <laughs> Sees him, like, counting on his fingers, and is, like, obviously, like, no, I'm not gonna, like, like the jig is up, basically. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and this, what seems to be an old elven man, just, like, scoots, just like, nope, nope. <laughs> and, uh, he's gonna bounce over next to Jules. Uh. Alright, so that puts you right to the east side of Jules, and right below two of these investors. Yeah, it, it does. Um. And there's three over on this side of the room. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Uh, so that's one. You got one action left. Excuse me. I know. Do you? No, draw would be an action. I guess I'll draw my. I do have a, a rapier, so I'll draw my rapier. All right. Sounds good. Yep. All right, Asaze, you're up. First action is going to be a hunt prey on the uh, investor directly to his east. Okay. Um, or the, uh, and anyway, he uh, he says, uh, "How dare you try to intimidate him? It's his money, and he wants it now. <laughs> 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 and he's going to get his money one way or the other. And he's going, to, uh, and he is then going to uh, <sighs> see. Here, uh, I have problems here because moral quan- uh, quandary because of the fact that." We are not trying to kill anybody here. But I think we are in a point where, hey, like, we have to protect our lives here because they're probably going to... What did I tell you at the beginning yeah. of this? You're used to playing heroes. Yeah. Today's mission is to, yeah. is to rob a bank. Yeah, exactly. At least you know that these are also bad yes. guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, their, their whole deal is like, it's not, hey, we're, I'm a good guy with a gun protecting their, this bank. Right. They're like, I'll get a right. payday yeah. if right. I take these people in. So fuck them. Yeah. So, that being the case, I think that Osaze makes a quick and uh, decision of actually like, okay, yeah, I need to protect myself uh, because otherwise I'm going to die. So, mm-hmm. and I also think uh, we do need to kind of uh, go near that door so she can open it, get through, and we can shut it right behind us because that's where we need to be and we need to it's like the I don't think the AP is wanting us to for this to be a battle, you know, kind yeah, of like don't dawdle. hit 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 back and forth, open the door, you know, try to you know rob the bank instead of killing these guys. I mean, mm. well, I mean, I don't know about what the AP wants us to do, but like if there was a possibility to get in there and lock them out, that probably wouldn't hurt our chances. Yeah. Uh, all right, we're we're in a six second turn here, so Asaze, you've. Uh, I don't care what y'all think. He's gonna venom draw, um, nice. which is uh, he <laughs> he takes out his weapons and of course, um, him being a Vishkanya, he has keen venom trait, and so um, as part of a draw action, he can envenom his weapon, not weapons, but weapon. He's going to envenom his uh, flissa, and so okay. he just drags it out and dra- drags his tongue across the. the uh, you can do that in a single action. Yes, and right. So then he uh, he points towards the uh, what's it called, and he's going to. Well, he's not the directly, investor. Yeah, yeah, and he's going to move directly to the investor. All right, that is your turn. Yes, it is now the investor's turn. But before we get that, we've hit the hour mark of our episode, so it's time to give a hero point out. And this episode's hero point is going to go to Dustin for his hilarious turn as uh, the, the disguised <laughs> uh, 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 one, uh, uh, another investor, so to speak. Yeah. So, uh, I'm tired of waiting. Uh, yeah. Why yeah. do you know who I am? <laughs> so congratulations on your hero point Thank there. you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, and now the final investor is going to go and is going to draw club, move to Jules, and strike at Jules. All right, so with that, let's see how I do. Oh, this one's probably going to hit with a 21. Yeah, that hits. 
All right, and the damage to Jules is four points of bludgeoning damage. Gross. Um, so that is the investor's turns, and now we're going to go to Jules. It's your turn. Um, am I supposed to take that damage? Or yep. You do that. Okay. You do it. You can click on your token. Yeah, there you go. Don't like Boom. it. Okay, so there are three investors just kind of hanging hanging around uh, me and Josh. Oh, God, here's the question: Do I just try and open the damn door and get inside, or are we killing people? Because that seems like a waste of time. I think the objective yeah is to get through the door. That's like kind of where I'm leaning. I'm I'm gonna try and open the door this go. Yeah. No okay. But then uh, I don't know what's inside the door, y'all. Like, it so could be what? so much worse. God Is damn it. Making a skill check um, cause attacks of opportunity? It would, if they had it. Uh, we don't know what's on the other side. Uh, yeah. Yes, you do. It's the tell. It's just the tellers. tellers, huh? Okay. Well, yeah, but then there's the vault, yeah. and there's the manager's office mm-hmm. also behind there. Mm-hmm. Um Okay, so if you're going to do that, I'm going to need a thievery check. One action for the thievery check. All right. Fingers crossed, boys. Hey, 23. Oh, 23. All right, that that is one success on the lock. So you get the you get the pick in the right place and now you're going to get the the other like little file right now how you get yep. two picks you kind of like, so it would take another action and another thievery check. Okay. Come on, please. Please. Please, twenty-one. Yeah, come on. That is a success. Yes. Nice. Boom. So it is unlocked, Yay. and you can open, and the door is open. So you open the gate, slide it open. You have one action left. Um, she's gonna stride in. Mm-hmm. Okay. And gonna the call problem out. Problem is, Josh, these guys are boys, all up on us. Like, to get, we're gonna, we're gonna have to get through them. Well, that just means our funnel, other party so. members are gonna have to like. We're we're gonna we're gonna have to take these people down basically no matter what. We can move. We got three actions to move over there. All right, Amir, you're up. A- Go ahead and move, act- Jules. Actually, oh. okay. So I have a thing. Um, into the fray. Mm-hmm. I can interact and draw one hand. I can draw my weapons as I. Um, I'll have to stride towards. You the have enemy. to do it yeah. when you roll initiative yeah. too. Okay. As your first I, action on your first turn. Oh, okay. All right. Well, then, no. I'm going to strike into the okay. thingy. All right. Amir, you're up. All right. Uh, Amir, um, as the merchant, is going to be like, the door's open. I'm going to speak to Dresh myself. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> once I select him, I'm going to use two turns uh, to do two movements. Mm-hmm. Or two actions to perform two right. movements and get, um, I guess on the other side, like how the door opens, kind of like holding up in the door. Um, the door is like a slide gate. Yeah, kind of sitting there, like waiting for my comrades to come in so I can like slam it, you know. So you're gonna go to right to right here. To right here, yeah, sure. Yes. Right here, being on the inside of the door, taking one exactly. step to the west, and and like ready to close the door. Are you just in position to close the door if needed? Yes. All yes. Right. But that, that to ready an action is like a full turn. Yeah, right? you can't actually. So yeah, that's yeah, can't. that's just flavor. Um, I'm going to use my uh, last action. Uh, let's see, to just ready an elixir of life. Just bring it into my hand. Oh, draw it. Just to draw. To draw. draw. Just yeah. To draw it All right. Hand. All right. So we're at the top of round two, and the there is a gold tank investor who is right in front of George. Uh, George has been left out here with three of these investors, and I'm just going to do a three attack round here uh, on George. All right. All right. First attack is a. Critical hit. Uh, oh, of course it fucking is. Uh, and so that's going to my deal. friends. You've killed me. I think we made uh, a mistake. That does eight points of damage. Half my HP. Okay. All right. Here comes this second attack. Uh, it's a critical miss. Great. Great. And the final attack. 
another critical miss nice. with, a minus, with a minus four <laughs> uh, on the roll there. Okay, so it could have been worse, could have been better, yep. but That's uh, accurate. you know, I, I will say that these guys don't look that burly. You know, you guys made the joke that they took their glasses off and got all ripped. They don't. They just look over eager. I'll throw that out to you. Okay. All Great. right. So then there is the investor that is next to Asaze. We're going to do another three round attack on Asaze here with this investor. All right. First roll is a hit. Yeah. With a with a twenty two. Second roll is a critical hit. Right. And the third roll is a critical miss. Oh, so right. total damage you're going to take here is 13 points of damage between oh. all the hits. All right. Good God. We're at the mercy of the dice here, fellas. Yeah, this is getting getting rough. All right. The next investor is going to attack George. Same deal. Miss, miss, miss. S- you guys really should have fought these guys instead of running. I'll tell you that. Um, it's too late now, though. Too late now. Here we go. All right, we got a miss. We have a miss and a critical miss. Thank oh, goodness. thank goodness. Oh, thank yeah. God. Oh. Okay. Okay. Judge, you're up. Judge! Okay. Uh, as a free action, mm-hmm. and, and intentionally remembering not to use real names... Uh, uh, George kind of turns over, just turns his head to, to look at Asazi and is like, Slither the kid, we gotta go, scoot! <laughs> <laughs> um, and I am going to... Uh, okay. Yeah, back into the room. And can I from... No. I gotta stay right, right behind the door. Also ready to shut it, but with and that's one action to move in. I want to use two actions to use uh, a uh, haunting him. Ooh, okay. Talk to me uh, about so that. So it's a fifteen foot cone. Uh, you echo mm-hmm. a jarring him that only can hear. It deals sonic damage equal to your spell casting ability modifier with a basic fortitude save. If they critically uh, fail the save, they're Oof. also deafened for one minute. Ooh. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, all right. So we're going to put this cone out, and it comes from you, yep. emanates from you. Right. All right. Looks like you're going to get. Uh, well, oh, it's from you. I'm sorry. Yep. All right. So you're going to get all three of the investors that are out there. Nice. All right. And so then they got to roll fortitude yep, basic saves. Basic fortitudes. DC 17. All right. The one to the east is going to go first. That is a nice. fail with an eight. Uh, the second one in the middle is a fail with a seven. Yeah, there we what's, go. What's what's the DC? Seventeen. Okay, that's a critical fail. Yeah, on that seven. let's go. I love it. And then the final one on the west is a twelve. So they all fail. <laughs> the middle one with a <laughs> middle one with a critical fail. Um, I love that. So, you're going to roll the damage. Yep. And then I'm going to take double damage from the one that critically failed. Okay, so it's four damage, so eight for the one that critically failed, and the one that critically failed is also deafened for a round. Uh, okay, so you kill the one that critically failed. Really? Nice. With that, with the eight, yeah. with the eight, just like, just like, boom, and then the other ones take four each. Talk to me about how this, what this looks like, how the song is you know, enough to kill one of these investors outright. Yeah, I mean, so that's one thing I guess I don't understand about Bard. Like, so I w- it wouldn't be with my violin because I, like, wouldn't be able to pull it out, right? Um, it's weird. Like, the the way that I want to flavor this is because the violin is your chosen instrument. Right. That, that when you're using a spell, you know, a Bardic spell, part of the actions required to use the spell is, like, using your violin right you know what i mean so like you can just flavor it as such that you that you're playing the violin 
Yeah, I, even well, though even, I don't know because you have because you need two hands to play no, violin. So, so, so I, I mean, because it is magic, right? I mm-hmm. think what what's cool is like ethereal bow. <laughs> the violin's like strapped on his back, but the magic emanates from the violin. It like lights it. up uh, with mm-hmm. like teal, you know, swirling, you know, watery looking magics, uh, and just like plays some really high pitched, like ear piercing chords on the violin that emanate outward like a wave and hit all three of these guys actually killing one and George is like kind of stunned by that like oh shit like I didn't realize it can kill him but that's, <laughs> that's actually kind of sick <laughs> um, <laughs> so, and Amir says yeah. these guys aren't playing around <laughs> they're also not <laughs> particularly tough Oh, you mean us? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm still in the merchant room. <laughs> We're also not particularly tough. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so yeah, great job there, Heath, with uh, uh, a very good play from Judge. Yeah, yeah I mean, I had, I had to really leave good. myself like right here in front of the door, so I'm sure uh, it's it's possible they might approach me and get some attacks off. But uh, I mean had to do something and i'm out of yeah. like level one spells so i love it yeah that's great that's a pretty good cantrip okay uh so it is now osaze's turn so osaze um did not hear uh george um telling him to uh run back into the room uh, instead he's got his entire focus on his prey and uh he's gonna go ahead and uh commit and with that He's going to uh, do a twin takedown. Let's go. Let's see here. Is that two actions? Uh, so it's, it's one no, action is to do two attacks. Correct. Yes. But they do take the the map penalty, right? Uh, so yeah, but my map penalty is uh, very diminished as far right. as yeah. All right. So okay. the first attack is an eighteen. That'll hit. All right. Go ahead and roll your second attack. Yep. Okay, attacking with the Mangosh this time. And that is a uh, nine. That is a miss. Uh, let's get the damage from the Flissa. All right, so that is going to be three, three points yep. of damage. And you also have the poison. Correct, yes. And that's a 1d4 for stage one. Four. Uh, four. Yes. So, okay, let me just um, see how poisons work. Uh, saving throw is fortitude. When, when you're first exposed to the affliction, you must make a saving throw against it. The first attempt to stave off the affliction is called the initial save. An affliction usually requires a fortitude save, but the exact save and its DC are listed after the name and type of affliction. Uh, on a successful initial saving throw, you're unaffected by that exposure to the affliction. You do not need to attempt further saving throws. If you fail the initial saving throw after the affliction onset period elapses, you advance to stage one of the affliction or subject to the listed effect. This probably does not have an onset, right? It's probably just yeah. So it's when you when you hit. All right. So I'm going to make the fortitude save here. What is the save? The save is ooh. Um, uh, hold on. I have it on my HLO, right? I think. It's a 17, DC 17. Okay. Uh, so I fail that, so I will take the four damage. That does seven points of damage. Uh, doesn't quite kill him, but gets him pretty, pretty close. Mm-hmm. And you do still have two actions left. So for the second action, I'm going to just do a regular attack. Okay. Not going to get and through the door? Uh, well, he, no. still has a, he still has a third action. Oh, okay. I thought you yeah, were taking two actions to, to the door. actually move through the door. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. I'll... I'll, I'll uh, so, second action is going to be an attack. It's going to be with the Flissa at a plus three. Or a map ten. Map, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. Ooh. That's a critical hit. <laughs> oh, nice. Boom. Fuck yeah. Uh, <laughs> so don't even worry about rolling the damage. You had one HP left. Uh, tell me how you do it. So what he does is, uh, with his Fliss, he just runs him through the gut with it and then just, like, kind of uh, twists. All right. Yeah. yeah, he's just like, oh, maybe I made a mistake. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, and so he's dead. 
I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> yeah. And you have a you have a third action left. Alright, with the third action, he is going to at least approach the door, but he's not trying to get three right now. Mm-hmm. Kind of put yourself in the way a little bit. Correct, yeah. So he's got twenty-five feet. He's going to make his stand in front or actually t- because I don't want to uh, cause any cover issues. So, yeah. To the right of the door. Adjacent to the door. All right. Sounds good. It is now the gold tank investor to the west. Um, he is going to move in and attack Judge. Because you just did the hymn and he didn't like that song at all. He's like, man, fiddle music is my least type favorite country music. <laughs> Field music? Is that what you said? Fiddle. Oh, fiddle. 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 Okay. fiddle. I was like, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about with field Get music a banjo. over here. <laughs> banjo? <laughs> I would yeah. never. All right, it's going to strike Josh. And that is a miss with the first attack. Nice. Second attack is... I miss even with an 18 nice. on the die. That map 10 is brute. Oh, goodness. All right. Very cool. All right. So, uh, you survived that round. Jules, you're up. All right. Jules is going to see George, like, excuse me, Josh, uh, right there in the front of the door. And this fucking guy is going to draw her hand cannon. And, uh, Going to try and take a shot past George to hit this guy. I'm sure the cover is going to be neat. Um, right. You're going to try, though. And that's all we can do, you know, in life in general. Yeah, just try. Just try. All right, here we go. George, lean to your right. He, he does so instinctively. <laughs> <laughs> he does so really well. A 26? Uh, that is a critical hit. <laughs> Uh, so, so, it's a critical so, hell yeah another thing in 2e uh, I kind of mentioned it before a natural 20 is always a critical hit but if you beat the DC by 10 or more that's also a critical hit so go ahead and roll that critical damage okay alright 14 as you just uh, you, uh, you rolled twice uh did I shit mm-hmm. poop uh, I'm okay. gonna take that first one All right. but that first one which is 6 points of damage is still enough Oh. To fail your foe. Wow. Okay. So three of the investors are down, and the last one's looking real unsettled. Real unsure of um. what to do here. Uh, so you still have uh, two more actions there, Jules. I actually have one because I drew my weapon. Oh, okay. Um, Jeez Louise. I thought you had that quick draw thing. No, so that's only when I... First action of the first round, like very right off the bat. Oh, yeah. That's um, right. And I didn't do that because I was trying to pick the lock. I am going to, though, use my last action to stride back in. Mm-hmm. Just on the other side mm-hmm. of the dead body because she really wants to try and... Well, actually, I would go into the corner now. Okay. Uh, just so that she can kind of keep an eye on the situation and hopefully not let George get shot at anymore. Or clubbed, or rather. Clubbed. Yeah. All right, Amir, you're up. Amir, still in the guise of the, the portly merchant, um, is standing right next to George in the in the doorway. Um, George has not benefited from treat wounds, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to battle medicine. Just oh, be like, cool. Awesome. Like, stand where you are. Just don't, don't mind me. You'll feel a little pressure here. And uh, s- straps you down with cloth and... Bandages. So you'll target him and then do the treat wounds thing, like, yes. even though you're doing battle missing, you'll just roll treat wounds from the utility, like you've been doing. Uh, hero point. There we go. There you go. Yeah. You, you, what'd you roll, Dustin? I rolled a 9, which was a failure. Okay. I have to get a 15 to treat wounds. Used a hero point so I can roll that again. Oh, baby, yes. Critical success by 10. You are healed. George for twenty five points. Oh God, nice! I was only eight down. <laughs> Holy crap! Right, that's not how much you're healed by. You sure? That was your roll. Oh, I th- last time it automatically rolled the. Are you rolling from the utility drop down? 
Well, I guess when you re-roll, it doesn't do that. Oh, again. it didn't. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't. So a critical set success on treat wounds. I- is it more? It is. It is. So if you critically succeed, um, you get four d eight instead right. of two d eight. Well, I'm just gonna roll that. You can manually add that. Here, it, it's gonna be enough. It's gonna be enough. You could just probably just go back and go to max. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait. Yep, okay, you're at max. I was just 17. like, watch you say that, and then it's <laughs> one, nice. one, one, one. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have said anything at that point. All right. Yep. Healed all the way up. Thank you. All right. All right. Cool. Very good. Very good. Um, and that's. Uh, I think battle medicine is only one action. It is. All that's right. crazy. If so, like that's why it is. It's a, it's awesome, but it's also. It, I think can only yeah, be unless, done unless you once feed into it to be able to oh, do okay. it more. Yeah. Yeah, 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 unless you yeah. take Yeah, it medic you do you do so much more healing feats. than you needed to that I get a level one spell slot back, I believe is how that works. <laughs> no, nice. I'm pretty sure nice. that's I how, love that, how works. that works. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Canon. No. Alright, so it's it is one wrong. action, so you have two actions left. Let's see. Um I guess I will move diagonal diagonally. Well no. I'll, I, I don't really have anything good at the moment that I can do, so I will hold my turn with my uh, um, figurative action ready to close the door. You, know, when you can actually going. spend two actions to ready that action. I will spend two actions to ready an action there once everyone's in to close the door. Perfect. There we nice. go. All right. Round three. The last investor is like, uh, well, sh- okay. Um... It's me against you for, I guess. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm going to commit. Yeah, I feel like it's too late now, but I am going to go all in on Asaze. You better kill me. <laughs> don't, don't, don't say that. Well, that's a critical miss, a miss, and a critical miss wow. on Asaze. So it didn't work Clubs out. Himself for the in old the face. Miss. <laughs> yeah. All right, George, you're up. Uh, okay. You know what? Look. Bards uh, are not good at weapons, and I'll probably uh, almost never do this again. But I want to move up and uh, move up to the guy and try to stab him with a rapier. Cause let's see what you can who do. Knows? You know, I may get a may yeah. get a hit. Make sure you target oh, him. I didn't. I targeted, uh, well, I targeted you the wrong you, one. Yeah, but it's the same AC, so that is a hit. Yeah, twenty three to hit. Nice. Yeah. All right. Uh, so damage is going to be five. Your foe has nice. fallen. <laughs> George, yeah, George like, sees we've taken three down. He killed one with his uh, uh, harmonious dirge or whatever it's called. And it gets a little gets a little cocky, you know. And it's like, mm-hmm. all right, we, we got this. And comes out and just walks right up. He's, he's not a great swordsman. Just walks right up and stabs like uh, very rigidly, just stabs directly forward and just gets the guy like right in the solar plexus, and, his, yeah, and, just... and looks at his hand like, "Oh, I, I did it! I, I stabbed him!" <laughs> you did indeed. Jules has like the weirdest perplexed look, like like she's really proud of you, but also like, "Why did you come out of cover?" <laughs> <laughs> that was only the one, and I was gonna kill him. And you did. Good job. Like yes. Be careful. <laughs> it, I mean, it appears we uh, severely overestimated these guys. Apparently, it was just a uh, just uh, bodybuilder muscle. You know, all for looks. I mean, to be fair, we're level one. It's so. marshmallow muscle. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, while you guys celebrate your victory, we're going to do the we'll see ya, and we'll okay. be back we'll next see time. Oh, no. We'll, we'll see you. Doing it now? Is it done? <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs>